नमस्कार ग्रेट मैन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं कोविड 19 महामारी के इस दौर में मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि आपका परिवार पूरी तरह सुरक्षित है स्वस्थ है और बच्चों ने लॉकडाउन में बहुत एंजॉय किया अब मैं आपका सपोर्ट चाहता हूं इस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में बच्चों की शिक्षा को हम अब स्टार्ट करते हैं और बहुत ही जल्द जो भी आपका बैकलॉग है हम उसको क्लियर भी करेंगे और एक नए तरीके से आपकी शिक्षा अब स्टार्ट होने वाली है पेरेंट्स का हमें पूरा सपोर्ट चाहिए आप लोग पिछले दस सालों से लगातार हमें सपोर्ट करते आए हैं और मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि अगर हम और आप मिलकर चाहेंगे तो बच्चों की शिक्षा का कोई नुकसान नहीं होने वाला है और हमें और आपको मिलकर अब एक रीस्टार्ट करना है नाउ लेट्स रीस्टार्ट बेस्ट ऑफ लक नमस्कार हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दिशा कृपलानी आई विल बी टीचिंग यू साइंस साइंस फॉर ग्रेट फोर एंड चैप्टर फर्स्ट इज फूड एंड डाइजेशन as you know all living beings need food they need food to stay fit healthy to grow and to get energy uh, likewise what all things you eat for food like we you eat wheat fruits vegetables pulses they give you energy and helps you to stay healthy there is one chemical substance present in the food it is called nutrients what it is called nutrients nutrients helps to provide nourishment to your body there are five types of nutrients namely carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals and proteins now you will see a chart of carbohydrates fats vitamin mineral and protein on your screen you can see the carbohydrates what all uh, food items are there in the carbohydrates like rice wheat potato they contain starch in them what they contain they contain starch in them okay and uh, carbohydrates helps us to give energy it helps us to give energy to do work people those who do physical work they need more carbohydrates next is fats fats gives more energy than carbohydrates when we need instant energy we take fats and what all food items will come under this food items like oil nuts butter they contain fat okay and both of carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving food they are called energy giving food third is protein protein is called body building food why because it helps us to grow protein help us to grow what are the food that is rich in protein like uh, eggs fish butter chicken as you meat as you can see on in the picture okay these are the food that is rich in protein and it is called body building food the next is vitamins vitamins help our body to fight diseases they help our body to fight diseases and minerals are what they help in the formation of bones teeth and blood there are different types of minerals we'll study in the higher classes okay and what all are the food that is rich in vitamins and minerals as you can see in the picture it's milk and different types of fruits and green vegetables that is rich in vitamins and minerals these both vitamins and minerals are called protective food they are called protective food okay if we'll revise it again so what are carbohydrates and fats carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving food they are called energy giving food and uh, protein is called body building food because it helps us to grow and vitamins and minerals are called protective foods because they protect us from diseases and helps in formation of bones teeth and blood okay and 
there is two things which are also present in food that is roughage and water. Roughage is what? Roughage is the fiber present in the food. It adds bulk to your body and fiber is very important for digestion of food. Okay. Means your food should contain fiber always. Whatever you are eating, the fiber should be there in it. Okay. You should include much of the fiber in your diet. And next is water. As you know, water is very essential for us. And three-fourth of our body weight is water. Okay. So, these are the nutrients and roughage in water. The next topic is digestion. What do you mean by digestion? Digestion is the process of breaking the food into a simpler form. As you can see, as we say, food gives us energy. Food doesn't give us energy directly. It goes inside and firstly, it is broken down into smaller, uh, into small, simpler form. And then it's being utilized as energy. Okay. So, this process of breaking down food into simpler form is called the process of digestion. Okay. So, now you can see the picture of the digestive system of a man in on your screens. Okay. Now, we will see ki what, all, uh, what are the organs that are included in the digestive system of a man. Starting from top, it is salivary gland mouth, food pipe, liver, stomach, pancreas, large intestine, small intestine and anus. Now we will study about the process of digestion, how the food is being digested and the undigested food comes out from our body. The process of digestion starts from mouth as our teeth bite and chew the food and break it into small pieces. Okay. This is the only the place from where we can take the food. Food goes inside and uh, in mouth when uh, the food is being uh, bite uh, and chewed, the saliva present inside the mouth, it comes, it's comes, it comes out of sal salivary glands and it gets mixed with the food inside our mouth. Then this mixture goes, is being pushed inside the stomach. What is the stomach? Stomach is a hollow muscular bag. Okay. Uh, the digestive juices in the stomach, some digestive juices are present inside the stomach. It, be, it is being mixed with the food which comes from the mouth. Okay. And again, it's, uh, it helps that food to, br to break into simpler form. Okay. Now, the food is being pushed to the small intestine. In small intestine, the juices from liver and pancreas are being mixed and again, it helps the food to, uh, to break into simpler form and all the digested food is being absorbed by the uh, vessels of the small intestine and that digestive, digested food is being carried to the all parts of the body. And the undigested food is being pushed to the large intestine and from the largest intestine extra water is being absorbed and the undigested food without water comes out of ants. Okay. Now, there is some tips given uh, in your uh, book for proper digestion. What are the tips? Read it. Take your food at fixed time. Okay. And chew the food properly while swallowing it. Eat lots of green vegetables and fruits. Do not overeat. Drink plenty of water. This is very much important. Drink plenty of water. At least you should take 4 liters. Means 8 glasses of water per day. 8 glasses of water per day. Okay. Now, next topic is being given in your book is preparing food. Some of the food we eat raw. Okay. And some, is, some food items are being cooked and eaten. Why it is being cooked and eaten? As cooking makes food soft and easy to digestible, uh, tasty and we can eat it. So, next, uh, next topic is some things to remember while cooking the food. Okay. So, here is the list of some of the things you can remember while cooking is do not wash vegetables and fruits after cutting them wash and wash them properly before cutting okay do not throw away the water in which pulses are being soaked it contains vitamins use it for cooking while boiling just add enough water 
so that the water has been absorbed with the nutrients okay and do not overcook too much roasting and frying destroy the nutrients the last topic is preserving the food preservation means keeping the food for a long time this process of preserving the food for a long time is called preservation and we can preserve most of our food in some different ways that you will learn in the higher classes okay so this was the end of the chapter i have completed the chapter now if you have any doubt see this video again and again to clear your concepts okay an assignment is being attached as a homework for you related to the topics which we have discussed today okay answers of the exercises question answers is also attached in the description box you can find it below okay and comment us how uh, if you have any query or if you have any doubt related to the video or related to some of the topic you can write in the comment box okay so the lockdown time is going on you are at home you're playing not studying so study take some time to study okay and uh, stay fit take care of yourself and wash your hands again and again okay thank you